<clears throat> Hi everybody, I'm Tim from TroutandFeather.com and I am excited and pleased to announce the results of our 2015 Project Healing Waters collection. To give you some background on this, last year in 2014, my wife and I put our heads together because we were trying to figure out a way for us to give back to our local communities. We kind of thought a little bit about it, we looked into some organizations, and then we started to really fine tune that because she works for the VA, I'm addicted to fly fishing and fly tying, and we realized that Project Healing Waters would be the perfect organization for us to contribute to. Project Healing Waters is an organization that helps to get veterans involved in fly fishing and fly tying. So as you can see, this was right up our alleys. We made a short video in 2014, I posted it on YouTube, and we received so many incredible donations. We also found out about an 8th grader who I met, uh, Andrew, who decided to start his own Project Healing Water collection in New Jersey. Andrew, if you're watching this, congratulations. Um, I can't wait to hear the results of your collection because it's just an incredible job that you're doing as well, especially considering you're an 8th grader and just finding ways to give back to your own area. Well, my wife and I decided to do, to do this again in 2015, and you're about to see all the results from basically what everyone chose to send to us this year, and it is overwhelming. Now, before I share all these donations, I want to talk about another focus or another goal that, that my wife Heather and I had, and that was to bring awareness to Project Healing Waters. We knew that realistically not everyone was going to be sending us donations to contribute to Western New York and Northern Pennsylvania. That's why I had mentioned the Project Healing Waters website, which is projecthealingwaters.org. And the fact that through their website, you can find out if there's a local chapter in your area. Many people have done so, and we found out that so many individuals have contributed funds, their time, or supplies to a local chapter in their area. For all of you who chose to do that, thank you so much because that means the world to us and it really means a lot to know that you were able to reach out and find a chapter to contribute to in your area. Now with that said, I cannot wait to share all these incredible donations from this year. Um, to tell you just a brief story, uh, I rent a post office box every year to have all these items sent to and after the first few weeks I went in to check that post office box and the clerks at the post office know me and when I walked in one of them looked at me and said, Tim, I hope you brought your pickup truck because you have so many boxes to pick up, and I definitely do. I'll be passing all of these donations on to Skip Hughes. He's out of Erie, Pennsylvania, and he'll be finding a way to basically get them in the hands of veterans in that western New York and northern Pennsylvania area. Skip, I hope you have a pickup truck as well because I have so many boxes I'm going to be bringing your way. Well, I'll start to share all these items. There might be a few transitions during the video because there are way too many items. They're all around me right now. And I know my wife is going to be excited to kind of move these out of our room because we've had these stored in a, a little room in our house. And that room is really full with just boxes galore. So let me pick up a few items right now. And I am really excited to share these. The first one that I'm going to share is a bag of fly tying supplies, and these were donated by Aaron Laterra. Aaron uh, donated to our collection last year. He is the owner of Laterra Fly Fishing. It's laterras.com. I'll have a link to his website in the description of this video. Um, Aaron uh, is an incredible fly tire. I had a chance to tie with him recently at a fly tying event, and um, he makes his own dubbing as well, including this awesome dubbing that's called Luminous Dub. If you're looking for some really great glow-in-the-dark stuff, check out his website. It's really cool. And Aaron, I noticed you included a lot of that for the veterans. They are going to love this fly tying material. Aaron, thanks again for your donation this year. I really do appreciate it. Next, I received a few bags from a gentleman that I have um, kind of chatted with on Facebook before. His name is Alex K. I'm not going to give your last name. I'm not going to give any last names from this point forward. He lives in Marysville, Pennsylvania. Um, Alex sent like three or four packages just loaded. Let me share some of the supplies that Aaron sent. Uh, brand new, it looks like Whitlock's uh, Dubbing Blends number two, just loaded with dubbing. These veterans are going to have a lot of dubbing from us this year. This bag was just loaded with fly tying supplies. I mean, you name it, that material seems to be in this little bag. And then in the other two bags that Alex had sent, it was just a collection of just wonderful stuff. We're talking fly boxes, um, I think two or three fly lines, a brand new floating holder, um, just 
all kinds of incredible stuff. Uh, Alex, it's been great communicating with you and thank you so much this year for your donation. I really appreciate you taking time to send all these packages our way. All right, the next one I'm going to share, this is an anonymous donation. I had mentioned to everybody if they, they, if they don't want their name shared, uh, they uh, by all means do not have to. Um, this was an incredible uh, donation from a gentleman in Pennsylvania, that's all I'll say. Um, box is loaded up with flies and I believe this individual may have said something along the lines of Tim do you think they'll even like the flies that I sent these flies look incredible these are just wonderful flies there's fly tying supplies I see a bunch of bucktails um, other boxes again just loaded with flies galore um, anonymous thank you so much for your donation uh, we really do appreciate it All right, the next donation I'm going to move to uh, comes from a gentleman who lives in Grand Island, Florida. He's a veteran himself. I believe he was in uh, the Navy. His name is Howard E. Howard, I'm not going to say your last name. Um, Howard and I communicated back and forth. He did live up north uh, in the past. Howard first sent me a large box from Florida and then emailed me and said, Tim, I got something else I want to send as well that I think uh, those guys will really love. So in the first box he sent... We have a fly fishing vest, we have feathers, we have dubbing, we have at the very bottom a vise. I believe it was Howard's um, last vise that he used. There's scissors, there's all kinds of threads, there's tools. There might be two vices in here. Um, there's just so much stuff that's loaded in this box. Chenille's, Howard, you sent a ton of stuff in your first box. But then Howard must have looked back through his collection and he realized there was something else he, he wanted to get in the hands of some of these veterans. And it's these packages of gateway hooks. The website is gatewayhooks.com. I had never heard of these hooks before. And they use this system called the loop and lock system. And it's basically an easy way to get your line in and out of these if you have trouble tying knots. Um, he sent, I don't know, a couple hundred, 300 hooks, maybe more than that. Um, from this Gateway Hook Company, uh, Howard. I really, it's been great communicating with you and thank you so much for these donations. I really appreciate them and I know the veterans are just gonna love them too. All right, let me move on to another box. I'm moving to the, my right now. And I think I'll have to pause this video. All right, this box, um, this was one that was really unique. Unique. This came from a gentleman, um, his name's Matt G. What was unique about this was that I looked what state it was coming from and it said LA and I thought Louisiana and sure enough yeah that's where he sent all this stuff from. This is a giant box as you can see. I'm not sure if I'd be able to go through everything here but to, to kind of just give you an overview we have a fly fishing jacket slash vest. In this box was a pair of Smith sunglasses in just impeccable condition. There's another vest, maybe another couple vests. A bag full of just all kinds of incredible stuff that we use. Hook file, forceps, sunglass holders, um, one of the Mayfly floating containers. Allen fly fishing boxes. These are the guide box that Allen fly fishing sells. Um, there's at least six, eight, 10 more boxes in here that are used for flies. Um, there's a water container. Um, just absolutely incredible donations. Lots of, um, uh, let's see, covers for fly reels. Just a complete just collection of incredible stuff that we can literally get in somebody's hands and they could use tomorrow. Uh, Matt, I really appreciate you sending all this stuff from Louisiana. Uh, just completely blew us away. Uh, thank you so much for your donation. Next, we have another anonymous donation. Um, just, again, just a whole plethora of fly tying supplies. We have a container full of just threads and flosses, uh, all kinds of calf tails and deer belly hair and turkey feathers and just mallard flank and marabou and hooks. And there's some boxes that have flies in them. Um, this is another awesome, just incredible donation. Uh, again, from another anonymous. Anonymous, thank you. We really appreciate it. Uh, this is from another anonymous. This is a smaller box, uh, but just loaded with some great goodies. This box came from New Jersey. 
and I'm, I don't want to pull everything out of here, but it was just another box just absolutely loaded with fly tying supplies, threads and tinsels and beads and all kinds of feathers. Um, just a box that was just loaded full. Um, again, it came from an anonymous donate, donator, or uh, it came anonymously. Uh, thank you so much for your donation. Um, this box came from an individual who lives in Maryland. I don't know who this individual is. I never received an email from them. Um, the only thing they had listed as their return besides their address was the name Dragon. So Dragon, thank you very much. Um, we may have talked before. If we did, I really don't remember. But this was another box that was just, lo just loaded up with all kinds of just incredible fly tying supplies. Lots of foam, some threads, a whole bag full of calf tails. Um, brand new threads still in the packaging and let's see it dr slick brass dubbing tools um just all kinds of wonderful stuff um dragon i truly appreciate it thank you so much for taking the time to, to send this box full of supplies all right we have another one this one came from connecticut this came from ray r um ray spent nearly 15 dollars on postage to get this our way and this thing, just like the, the previous boxes, completely filled up. Uh, just bags of different furs, craft furs, uh, deer. I see tails. I see bags just loaded with synthetics. Um, this is just entire bags full of deer tails. And then when you get to the bottom of this, just hundreds and hundreds of hooks. Um, I can't even, I'm not even going to try to count how many hooks are in uh, the the bottom of this box. Um, just another incredible donation. Uh, again, Ray from Connecticut, thank you so much for taking the time to, to package all this stuff and send it our way. We really appreciate it and I cannot wait to get it in the hands of the veterans. All right, I have a few more to share then I have some larger packages. Uh, this one I, I'm going to share, this is from Bob F. Uh, I, I've talked to Bob through the Pennsylvania Fly Fishing Forum. Uh, I've noticed a lot of these packages came from Pennsylvania, and I have a feeling that many of them came from individuals on the PA Fly Fish Forum. Uh, I posted the video there, and I posted it, I believe, on the Fly Tying Forum. Uh, just two great fly forums that I, um, I, I interact with. The Pennsylvania Fly Fishing Forum, you guys have done an incredible job. Um, Bob, thank you so much. Bob is also in Pennsylvania, and he sent just an entire package just loaded with all kinds of fly tying goodies, threads, and looks like maybe a couple um, tools in there, and just peacock, which is incredible. Uh, Bob, thank you so much for taking time to package everything and sending it our way. This is from another individual who's on the, uh, the Pennsylvania Fly Fishing Forum. Forum. This is Rolf. He lives in Warminster, Pennsylvania. Um, Rolf sent just a whole box full of just incredible stuff. And Rolf and I communicated back and forth. We have a fly fishing vest. We have, there's, there looks, there are tippets down here. There might be some hooks or flies at the bottom. And then there's a bag just loaded with all kinds of goodies. We're talking about a beautiful Hungarian partridge skin, more tippet, split shot, uh, a fly box, a fly patch, um, a fly box, another one some tinsel, some wires, just all kinds of incredible stuff. Uh, Rolf, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to package all this stuff, stuff up and sending it our way. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And then one more of the small boxes, if we call these the small boxes. Uh, this is one of the last ones I've received. Um, I can't read, I think it's Strom, possibly from Gratz, Pennsylvania. Um, I didn't even know this one was coming. This was the last one that I picked up before I closed the post office box. And uh, I was so excited to, to know that there was still one more there. Um, when I got home, I opened it up, showed my wife, and it, again, just loaded with fly tying supplies. Um, I, I can't go through all this stuff, but just all kinds of incredible stuff. Maraboos and hares and looks like squirrel tails and turkey feathers and possibly goose feathers, some holographic material. Uh, looks like some hackle, a whole bag full of tails, 
Um, this looked really cool. Uh, a bag full of Chernobyl ant bodies. This looked really cool, actually. I'm sure those veterans are gonna love those. They're gonna have a lot of fun tying those. There's chenilles. There's just so much stuff in this box. Uh, thank you so much. I think it might be, you know, Mr. Strom from Gratz, Pennsylvania. Uh, we really appreciate you taking the time to, to box all this stuff up and, and sending it our way. It's time to share the last donation. And this is the one that got the clerks at the post office telling me that I needed a pickup truck. I had communicated with a gentleman from Ohio. His name's Mark W. And Mark had told me that he had a bunch of stuff, some rods he wanted to donate, that, but they were up in Michigan. He wasn't sure if he was going to be getting to the fly fishing show up there, but if he was able to get up there, he would package them and send them our way. Well, Mark was luckily able to get to that show. It sounded like he had a good time while he was there. And uh, sure enough, he packaged all this stuff, stuff up, and we received four of these giant boxes at our post office box. I'm sitting down right now, but this box easily goes over my head. I guess I am short too. For starters, these boxes cost, I don't know, 15 or $20 each to send to Pennsylvania. When we received them, my wife and I looked inside them and the boxes were just completely loaded. Um, some of them had cases for fly rods. Some of them had fly boxes in this one by itself. Just pulling out a couple things. There are two fly boxes like this. There's at least one switch rod, maybe two or three more that I see. There's an echo rod. There's an elk horn rod. Looks like there might be another fly box down there. Um, these boxes were just loaded up. Uh, Mark, we really appreciate you. Number one, not just taking the time to package your supplies. Um, you also you know, paid $40, $50, $60 to send all of these our way. And they were your fly rods and, and you're now putting them in the hands of veterans. Uh, that really means a lot to us. More importantly, it's going to mean a lot to those veterans who are going to be using these. I cannot wait to get them in those veterans' hands. So with all of that said, if it's not completely obvious, uh, my wife and I were just completely overwhelmed and really excited with our 2015 collection for Project Healing Waters. Our collection's now over. If you would still like to get involved with Project Healing Waters, please check out their website. It's projecthealingwaters.org. Um, from their website, you can find out if there's a local chapter in your area, or if you wanna make just a simple cash donation, you can do so through their website. Skip Hughes, uh, if you're out there watching this video, I'm gonna be getting, in a, getting a hold of you really soon and you're going to have a lot of stuff coming your way and I can't wait to get this to you so you can get it used and, and you can get this stuff in the hands of veterans ASAP. Well, for all of you, uh, thank you so much for making this another successful year. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments, by all means, leave them in the comments section of this video or you can email me at tcamisa at gmail.com. From both my wife and I to everybody out there, thank you.